Hey guys, it's Ted. I'm over here at Ross. I haven't hit Ross in a while. Since the whole Nike thing went down. I figured the sales would be dropping on them, but usually it's just cleats here that are really cheap. And I get here and it's been about a month and a half. And right away I find a bunch of cleats for $5.99, $6.99. And I just wanted to show y'all, like right here. You can go to your Ross and make money too. If you see that right there, $6.99. You can't go wrong for a pair of Nikes, even though they are cleats. For $6.99. I looked these up. They're $40 all day long. Sometimes $50. Um, here's another pair right here. I don't even really need to look them up when they're $5.99. But that's what they cost. $6.99. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me show you how to look them up real quick. If you don't know already. Nike is really easy. Sorry if it's... You see that number right there in the middle? With the dash. Can't really make it out, but you look up that number. Sorry guys. Right there. Right under my big thumb. It's 725 number at the end of it. And you look those up on eBay. All you gotta do, you don't have to put the word Nike in. You just put that in the search box on eBay. Look at completed or sold items. And boom. So these are regularly 20 here, which is still a good price. So all you got to do is you go through looking at the for the clearance tags and when they get tired of having them for a while they're going to blow them out and honestly if i don't buy these they're going to go down again check like these right here 12.99 or 13.99 they sell for 40 and 50 but i'm gonna go ahead and wait on those because cleats aren't gonna it ain't the on season for cleats really i mean it is football season but oh that poked me Here's one right here for $8.99. So we're going to go ahead and look, put them in the cart and look them up. Those look like they're all day long going to be worth more than that. So this is more of a video to, you know, help people out, make a little extra money. Especially if you're shopping at Ross, you can go ahead and offset your costs of your own shipping women. Our shipping or your own spending women. Um, you can do this too. And these are in here. Um, they were, see, I don't know if y'all can see that. $12.99 and now they're $8.99. So I'm gonna need to look those up. I don't even need to. I'm going to. And here's the thing, guys. If you don't want to look them all up, if they're cheap, you just want to buy them, bring them back. Bring them back if they aren't what you want. Or if you don't sell them in 30 days, bring them back. There's a little tidbit for you. And there's nothing they can do about it as long as you keep the tags on. Some Nike racing shoes. And those are $6.99. These look. They were $18. I don't know about those. I might come and look those back up. Um, I'm just trying to get a tutorial going for y'all. Here's another pair for $6.99. Dude, check that out, dude. When's the last time you bought a Nike? I know they are cleats for $6.99. So, we're at one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes, and we're under $30, pretty much. Well, maybe a little over. And I haven't even barely got past the large ones yet. So I just thought I'd come do that. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, why wouldn't you? What's it going to hurt? Um, if you got similar content, content of any kind of selling, buying, sports items, uh, tell me about it. And I'll, I'll check your channel out too. And I might, might give it a sub if I see anything I like. Um, so all those on top look pretty well. Full price. Oh, these are... 649 right here. How can you beat that? So we're in the four minute range of me making this video. So I've already got four minutes. My cart full of shoes. 20, I think I see it over already. And honestly, guys, I've found shoes for me here. I wear a size 15. Boom. It's cold outside. I'm wearing shorts, but don't matter. Um, and then there's other things here at Ross, too. So I'm going to cut the feed after I look at the shoes. And then I will come back on if I find something else. I found a bunch of, like, Pac-Man backpacks here once for 8 bucks, And I sold them for $50. Like, all of them each. That was pretty cool. That was recently. Back to school people bought those up. Uh, these all look normal. There's some Under Armour, so those do not sell as well, but they clearance them. You know, it's funny, they clearance the Nikes way more than they do the Under Armour. 
And you know the Under Armour suck. Their shoe line is crap. Their stock prices suck. Um, they got an ambassador that doesn't even appreciate them. Steph Curry. And I guess he still is. See, those are $13.99. And Steph Curry shoes are ugly. Every shoe they've made is ugly. That's my opinion. Check these big dogs out. $13.99. Those are huge. Get those. Come on, look those up. Um, well, these seem to be regular price. Bear with me, guys. I'm a little shaky. And I ain't got the light on either. I don't want to cause too much attention to myself. Oh, see, these Under Armors are all 50 bucks, even for the cleats. I wish they'd get more regular shoes here. They get too many cleats. These are super big. 18s, 13.99. Those are the same as the other ones. So here's the difference, guys. Um, when you look up that number, it actually has the color of the shoes pretty much in the number. So a similar pair of the same shoes with a different color. They will be a similar number, but a little different. So that actually looks up the pair of shoes you're looking at. So these are the same as those green ones I just looked at. So I'll look these up. If they don't come up, then you can look the green ones up. So there's a little tidbit there. These are all looking full price. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy no more cleats, but how can you turn down money? I'm honestly not a big fan of Kaepernick and Nike, but I'm a big fan of money. So. I'll tell you right now, if they played the national anthem right here, I'd put my hand over my heart and I wouldn't kneel. <laughs> but I'll let go of that. Oh, I don't want to offend anybody. Get into some Jordans. That's the Jordan thing. $44 on some Jordans. Uh, these are always look worth looking at. It's a really good looking pair of Jordans. I doubt they're more than $44, but what's it hurt to look them up? Now that number is a little hard for me to see, but I can manage. That looks like the end of the shoes. Guys, there at me. Some funky Adidas. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. And I'm going to stop the video at the moment. I will come back if it's worth coming back to. Peace. Unexpectedly to get a lint roller. And I found these bad boys for a dollar. They're Star Wars titanium die cast figures for a dollar. And there is like 15 to 20. 20 of them. A dollar each. They sell for anywhere from 8 to 10 dollars a piece plus shipping. So, not a bad buy. This is a part of my Ross haul, how to make money at Ross, and now it's going to be how to make money at the Dollar Tree, too, because, you know, there's money everywhere. So, I just thought I'd add this to the video. Right there. Look at all these bad boys. These are awesome. They're heavy. I mean, they're not super heavy, but for what they are, they're size wise. So, I'm going to go ahead and get them all here. Get about 20 of them, maybe a little more. Hopefully, more. I should ask if they have more in the back. I wanted to buy these by the case. Get all these bad boys in my Dollar Tree cart. Is it the DT Dollar Tree? It's a lot of this one. Okay. It's not a complete set, but I'll probably sell them as a lot. And the dupes I'll sell by themselves. But and then also be careful with the condition because people are very picky about their conditioning. Anyways, I will be back. After the haul time, and anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I ended up getting. So I st stopped at the Dollar Tree, as you know, and I ended up getting 24 of these bad boys. Um, they're averaging around $10 a piece. I'm going to make lots because there are some dupes and then I'm going to sell them individually. So that was a really nice profit for $28. I think it was because I bought a couple other things, 29. So that was a good 23 items. I mean, that's $230 right there. 
Now we're going to go into the raw stuff. We're going to show the cleats I got. Some of them you've seen already. Uh, we got those were... And these are averaging $40 a piece. I'll just let you know. These were $6.49. These look like the San Francisco 49ers colors. That's $6.99. We paid for those. Brand new cleats. I got this for myself. It's a uh, Echo, and I like Echo. Not as much as I used to because the products haven't got it not as good as they used to be. But I have shirts from like six years ago that I wear every now and then that are still wearable. But they've changed their fabrics. Oh yeah, and then I got this Louisville, I think it is. Let me see. Sorry, I'm dealing with one hand here. And flip it around. Sorry if I have an issue. Yeah, Louisville Cardinals, Adidas, newer style jersey number 16. Sorry, I can't spread it out right. I'm usually good at spreading it out. Anyways, on to the shoes. So that was um $7.99 for a for a $40 jersey. So pretty much everything's averaging 40 and I ended up getting something for myself for free. And then you got these cleats, these aqua looking colors here. That's pretty cool. And then, these were unexpected even though they're not as valuable as they used to be. The Walking Dead sets for $10.99 each at Ross. Right there, I got two of those. If I can get out of the bag here, here's some lime green cleats from Nike. And these were $8.99. These were the most expensive ones. One more pair it looks to be. These are more of a teal, dark green color here. Really good looking shoe. Um, too bad they're all cleats, but still for the price, you can't go wrong. I can get a pair of Nikes that are brand new for that. You can't even go to Goodwill and get a pair of shoes for that. $6.50 for those. And then, like I was saying, one more Walking Dead, as you can see there, $10.99. I ended up spending like $1.30 for everything. So what do you think, guys? I'll end up making, I don't know, seven or 800 off of it, maybe a little more. I didn't really do all the math. All I know is there's profit, and that's what it's all about in this case. So anyways, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to, go ahead and like it, dislike it, comment, please. Make a comment, talk about something, ask questions, give me some advice, whatever the case may be. I'm out. Peace.